Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 bike rack here on our 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. So the Thule Hitching Post Pro is a great bike rack option for you and the family because it allows you to carry up to four bikes. Now the Hitching Post Pro is actually one of our most popular bike racks and it's for a good reason because this is an excellent rack. So there's two general styles of bike racks. We have the hanging style bike rack, which is what this is, and we also have the platform style bike rack. Now, hanging style bike racks, where these come into play is, they're usually a little bit more cost effective than the platform style, and they're also lighter, so they're easier to get on and off the vehicle. One drawback, however, is that they're not really compatible with heavier bikes because the limit for most of them, this one in particular, is gonna be 35 pounds. Therefore, if you do have those heavier bikes, you will need to look into the other style, which is a platform style rack. So this particular one here has three points of contact. And the reason that's important is a lot of the hanging style bike racks only have two points, which is just two straps on the top of the frame there. Having this third point of contact down here on the, uh, the uh, seat bar post, this is gonna stop our bikes from swaying back and forth as much. Therefore, they're not banging into one another. So when you're ready to get your bike off, it is very easy. We have these little straps at the top here. So these are basically just pull straps. You just pull them to elongate the opening there, and then that frees them from that little knuckle. So one thing about these straps is these things are very, very durable, and they have multiple holes to accommodate different bike shapes. So we've been using these quite a while, and they've definitely held up. There isn't any signs of wear whatsoever. So these are very durable. It's not something you're gonna have to replace. But we have two on the top here, and as we said, anti-sway on the bottom here for a total of three. We'll just pull that one out, and now we're ready to lift our bike up and off the rack. So one thing I do want to point out is that this bike rack here is mainly designed for these types of bikes that have that horizontal top tube here. However, if you have a woman's or a kid's bikes that have the ones that go towards the center of the seat post, you can still use these, but you'll probably need an adapter bar in order to hold the bike level. And this adapter bar is sold separately, but it is offered by Thule. So now that we have the bike off, we can take a closer look at our cradles here. So just overall, first glance, uh, these are pretty durable. They're kind of like a mix between a rubber and a plastic. So they're definitely gonna hold your bike nice and snug. Now we do have these channels at the bottom here and what these are for is um, those bikes that have brake uh, cables running on the underneath of the frame. Basically, if you were to just sit those on a flat cradle, they're gonna scrape the bottom of your frame, which is not something we want. Having this little integrated channel in here allows you to protect your bike's frame and the painted finish. So our bike rack does allow you to carry up to four bikes at a time. Now keep in mind, you could only carry one, only carry two, or only carry three. You don't have to carry four. However, they do ask that you carry your heaviest bikes closest to the vehicle and that you fill up these cradles first. So something a lot of our customers ask us is how much length they're adding to the vehicle with a bike rack installed and the arms extended. So if you would like to know that as well, we can give you that simple measurement here. So from the back hatch to the outermost point of the arms, you're looking at about 44 and a half inches. So let's say you guys park in a garage and this adds a little bit too much of the length to your vehicle. Well, we can actually fold these arms down for a more low profile finish here, which is what a lot of people actually do with the bike rack when they're not using it, opposed to just taking it off. So if we just pull this pin out at the back here, our arms can tilt down and then we can actually re-secure the pin. So now that we have the arms down, as you can see now, our overall length of the vehicle, it's much less. We're looking at about 21 inches to the outside of the cradles there. So if we did leave the bike rack on the vehicle permanently, even when we're not using it, that could potentially pose a problem. What if we need to get something out of the hatch? Well, thankfully, in addition to the arms tilting down, the actual mass actually tilts back to allow for access. Again, we just have a simple pin on the side or on the back here. Pull that out and our rack will actually tilt down. There's a built-in stop here, so you don't need to worry about hanging on to it. Now keep in mind, you can't do this with the bikes on. The bikes do have to be off for this, so just keep that in mind. As you can see here, we have plenty of room to open our hatch here and get anything out that we may or may not need. 
So this rack here has an anti-rattle hitch pin, and what that means is it's gonna ensure we get a nice and tight fit inside the receiver tube. And the reason this is important is if we have a lot of slop in here, our bikes are gonna be bouncing around much more when we're out on the road. So as you can see here with that hitch pin tightened down, if I go ahead and just shake the shank on the rack here, we're moving the entire vehicle. Therefore, there's no play inside there whatsoever, which is gonna keep our bikes nice, secure, and protected. So in summary, I really, really like the Hitching Post Pro. Thule is a great manufacturer. They're well known for their bike racks. This probably isn't their top tier option, but that's certainly okay. You still get a lot of those top tier features with this rack at a much more economical price. As we said earlier, this is actually one of our best selling bike racks. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that's gonna do it for our look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 bike rack here on our 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L.